Recently, I bought a DJI Mini Pro. Till date, I choose not to buy it because I thought there might be some registration formalities with the aviation authority and it might be a complicated device. I was so scared to use it first, but DJI Mini 3 Pro is fabulous, simple and intelligent drone. And now it is a mandatory piece for all my travel. As I am a novice, I didn't want to flout any rules. So I went to CASA website to check the rules. And I thought, why not share with all of you? So what are the rules for flying a recreation drone in Australia? All aircraft in Australia, including drones, come under the jurisdiction of CASA, the Civil Aviation Safety Authority. To ensure the safety of other people and aircraft, there are rules that apply to recreation drones, which are, you must not fly your drone higher than 120 meters or 400 feet above ground level. You must keep your drone at least 30 meters away from other people. You must only fly one drone at a time. You must keep your drone within visual line of sight. This means always being able to see the drone with your own eyes rather than through a device, screen or goggles. You must not fly over or above people or in a populous area. This could include beaches, parks, events or sports ovals where there is a game in progress. Respect person privacy. Don't record or photograph people without their consent. If your drone weighs more than 250 grams, you must fly at least five and a half kilometers away from a controlled airport. You generally have a control tower at them. Use a drone safety app to find out where you can and can't fly. CASA verified safety apps are for guidance only and should not be used for the purpose of air navigation. You must not operate your drone in a way that creates a hazard to another aircraft, person or property. You must only fly during the day and you must not fly through cloud or fog. You must not fly your drone over or near an area affecting public safety or where emergency operations are underway. This could include situations such as a car crash, police operations, a fire or firefighting efforts or a search and rescue. If you are near a helicopter landing site or smaller aerodrome without a control tower, you can fly your drone within five and a half kilometers. If you become aware of manned aircraft nearby, you must maneuver away and land your drone as quickly and safely as possible. If you intend to fly your drone for or at work commercially, there are extra rules you must follow. You will also need to register your drone and get a license or accreditation. Many popular tourist sites are in areas where drone safety rules and other laws mean you can't fly. Sydney Harbour and surrounding areas are a no drone zone. Due to helicopters and seaplanes that are permission to fly there often at low altitudes. Every country has different laws for flying drones. Some even ban them completely. Before you can fly, you may need to know, learn new rules, get a license, register your drone. Drones use lithium polymer batteries, which you must carry with you in your hand luggage. You can also check with your airline. Before you go overseas, check your travel insurance covers your drone for accidents and damage when abroad. Make sure you follow the local rules, otherwise you may void your insurance and you may face covering any cost. Visit Smart Traveler to learn more about the rules in the country you are visiting. For more information, visit the CASA website.